everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Reno and in today's video I am going to share with you some very important points to improve your English and to start thinking in English and these all points I have taken uh, from one of my friends from one of my former friends he suggested me some amazing points to start thinking in English which I really want to share with you guys so that you can also take benefits of these all points and you can ultimately start thinking in English which will make you fluent in English language. So make sure to stay with me till the end of this video because you are going to take something very important out of this video. Alright and if you like the video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are watching me first time you are new here on my channel do subscribe right now and of course leave your comment in the comment section. Now without further any delay let's get into the video. Alright, so as I've already told you, I have talked to one of my former friends. I was just randomly talking. Then suddenly I asked that how to actually start thinking in English. How to speak naturally English language. And he suggested me some practical points. How you guys, uh, whoever uh, is learning English language, how you people can start thinking in English, which will, uh, which will make you friend in English language. And English will be naturally coming out from your mouth so i'm gonna share with you all the points which he has suggested me guys and i have tried these all things literally i i could just relate at that time when i was just talking to him i was completely relating all the points that whatever he was telling me exactly it was correct and i have already experienced all the points so he has suggested me some amazing points. I'm going to tell you one by one all the points. So make sure to take your diary notepad paper with pen so that you can also note down all the points one by one so that later on you can practice your English by using these all points. So the very first point, you need to name your surrounding. Whatever you are surrounding with, some different, uh, you know, things, some different you can say plants, some non-living things. You need to give name of them, right? You need to give name each of your surrounding, whatever you are just noticing. Whether it's a table, that's a book, it's your bag. It's a very small thing, but it is very, very much effective. You need to give it a try if you have been just thinking, like I'm unable to think in English. This is the main thing. You need to start from the scratch right so you should start by giving name of your surrounding wherever you are going whatever you are doing whatever the things around you whatever the surrounding you have you need to try to give each and everything whatever you are surrounded with okay so just make sure that you are giving names to your surrounding it means that a very basic level is clear you are familiar with small basic vocabularies Okay, now let's move to the next point. It is also interrelated with this one. It is like when we try to speak English, we most of the time always have this concern that we get stuck, our mind get blank. We do not know what to do and how to speak when we want to speak with someone. So now the second point he has suggested me that if you're learning a language, you should start simple sentences in the starting. If it is your initial stage, you're supposed to use simple, very simple sentences to explain yourself, to explain your ideas. Okay. And talking about the another point is also interrelated with this one. That is when you are trying to speak, make sure that you are in small conversation. We are in daily conversation, you know, uh, on regular basis, we speak some small things like give me food, take it there or take it this or bring it this like there are so many simple sentences we use on regular basis so you can start with this make sure that you are having small conversations every day you need to become habitual the main purpose is that you need to become habitual your purpose is to train your subconscious brain so that it can be ultimately and naturally coming out Right, it will be uh, naturally coming out from your mouth once you're habitual to start speaking and to, you know, observe English. For that, uh, you need to apply these three things. Three points are very important. And these three points are for person who has not tried yet 
to speak english who has just been thinking so now it's time to give it a try now talking about the fourth point you need to change of your daily activities you need to change of your daily activity to english now what do i mean by it if you like to practice badminton if you like to practice chess or ludo but what we do as we uh, use our mother tongue we express our game or habits or activity in our own mother tongue right so you need to change your everyday things whatever you have been uh, doing now in your own mother tongue you need to start expressing that explaining that activity that hobby which you follow on regular basis in english language so whatever you like to do on regular basis any activity any hobby you have you must express that you need to use english language while doing that particular hobby and the fifth point i have for you that is stop translating in your head okay when we are trying to speak english most of the time we try to translate in our head then speak that sentence out but it is the thing you are supposed to stop now because if you do that you will not start thinking in english because your mind will be habitual of translating you need to stop this now moving to the sixth point which is you are supposed to dedicate at least 10 minutes in a day to english you are supposed to practice english every day at least 10 minutes a day and if you have more time you can practice as much as you can that will be very beneficial for you guys now moving to the seventh point is that whatever you have been consuming content in your own mother tongue whether it is serial movie or songs you have been listening in your own mother tongue you have been watching make sure that you are trying to change little by little you are trying to watch in english listen in english and you are trying to consume content in english language so that you can get something new from that to learn in english language and you can easily apply that and enhance your english communication skills okay so make sure that whatever you have been consuming in your own mother tongue entertainment content you are doing that in english language now talking about the eighth point is that you need to spell out whatever you have done in entire day now what do i mean by it you can maintain a journal when your day is finished you can express your day just explain your day in your own spellings in your own words it will be help you to have that good connection with the language it will help you to develop understanding with english language whatever has happened in entire day with you you are trying to express in the form of writing in your own journal now talking about the another point is that you should not be afraid of making mistakes because you are very familiar we are not the person who uh, english is whose uh, mother tongue or we have been just learning english from a child who will it is not like that english is a second language and we are supposed to make mistakes we are supposed to learn from our mistakes so do not ever afraid to make mistakes learn from them and be very disciplined and very you can say curious to learn english practice every day everyday practice matters a lot you need to be consistent towards your english learning journey as i have already told you you are not supposed to afraid to make mistakes in english language while learning this language instead you are supposed to learn as a kid you are supposed to just think you need to think that you are a student you are a kid you are learning a language that's it you are supposed to make mistakes and learn from them you need to think that you are a kid or a student which is learning your mother tongue or your language that's it and you need to enjoy the process only in your and believe in yourself that you can learn everyone learns right it's something not uh, which is rocket of science it is just a language so you can also learn you're supposed to make mistakes and learn from them so these are some amazing points guys which i have taken from one of my friend of friends i hope you like the video guys as well as all the points to start thinking in english and to learn english language effectively because these all points are suggested by a foreigner and of course these all are working well i have tried them you can also give it a try and if you have anything to ask me to suggest me you are free to suggest me in the comment section just leave your comment i really like to read your comments guys and if you like the video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here on the channel do subscribe right now thank you so much for watching